All right, so the draw for Rome has come out and a lot of names returning on the ATP side of things. But let's talk about the players that are not playing in Rome for this year. Okay, so here is a withdrawal list from Rome. You can see there Berrettini. He's not going to play. Bonzi, Brooksby, Carina Busta, also not going to play. You've got Chilich. He's also out. Correa, Draper, Isner, Kyrgios. And Nadal, of course, pulls out again from another clay court event. Shapovalov and Ema have all pulled out of this one. Uh, but let's go have a look at the top of the draw and see who is playing in in this event. So here's the draw. You can see there, we've got 32 seeds in this one. All seeds get a buy in the first round. Starting with Djokovic. Up at top of the draw, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Van Aish or Echeverry in the second round. Now, Van Aish is a guy I actually played a couple weeks ago and had a tough three-setter against. So that could be an interesting rematch. Uh, then you've got Avashka taking on Vavrinka. Winner plays against the 26 seed Dimitrov in the second round. Uh, then you've got Dimonor at the 17 seed. He'll take on either Kranovic, Fucevic in the second round. Then you've got Edmund taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on Cam Nori, the 13th seed. So interesting section of the draw. You know, a couple of veterans in there. Obviously, Djokovic, Wawrinka, uh, Dimitrov, all in that section too. Uh, Nori will be an interesting matchup, I guess, against possibly against uh, Djokovic. Of course, Nori won Rio in February beating Alcaraz, so he can play on clay, but you know, I feel like Djokovic will, you know, a couple of tough matchups, but I think he'll be pretty happy with that. Next section of the draw, you've got Felix Ojeliasim, the number 10 seed. He will take on either a qualifier or O'Connell in the second round. Uh, then you've got a qualifier taking on Giron. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed Korda in the second round. Then You've got Kecmanovic, the 30th seed, getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Fanini or Murray, one of the best first round matches of the event. Uh, that's a very interesting part of the draw. Uh, then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that will take on number seven seed, Runa, in the second round. So that's an interesting section. That's kind of stacked. You know, you've got Felix uh, Ogiel Yassim. You've got Korda, who, you know, maybe is a little bit too close to or too new in his comeback, but he can cause damage. We know that. So Runa's got an interesting section. Of course, this section takes on the Djokovic section uh, in the quarterfinals. So I feel like this section is a a lot harder than the Nole section. All right, let's go down a little bit now to the Rude section. Kasparu, number four in the world. Well, sorry, number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Rindanish or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Bublik. Winner of that will take on the number 28 seed, Shelton, in the second round. So then you've got Van der Zanschel, the 23rd seed. He'll take on either Lestian or Jera in the second round. Then you've got Cashin taking on Garen. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed, Paul, in the second round. So pretty open draw. I mean, you know, Paul made it to a challenger final last week on clay. Uh, Van Zanschel made it to a final on clay a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Rude, of course, we know is a French Open finalist from last year, so we know he can play. I think if you cast for Rude, you're probably liking this draw. All right, in the bottom section of this draw, you can see we've got Hashidov, the number 11 seed. He'll take on either Nakashima or Barrer in the second round. Then you've got Gasquet taking on Wu. Winner will take on Serendola, the 24th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 29th seed, Grigspor. He'll take on either Baez or Varalis in the second round. Then you've got Munar taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed, Sinna, who is back after taking taking off Madrid. So this is an interesting section. There are some tough, unseated players who can play on clay. You know, players like Munar, who's played well lately on the clay. Baez can play on clay. You know, got a set of City Pass last week in Madrid. We know Gasquet is a veteran. And he can do things. Uh, and then, of course, Hashinov's having a really good season. Uh, Serendolo can play on clay. And, and, of course, this Sinner section will take on the Rude section in the quarterfinals. There's a lot of there's some tricky opponents in this section. Okay, let's go to the third quarter now. We've got Rublev, the number six seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Molchan in the second round. Then you got Pella taking on Cressy. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Fakina. In the second round, Fakina, Rublev, third round. That is a tough, tough match for Rublev. And then you got RBA, Batista Agu, the 21 seed, taking on either Chekinado or McDonald in the second round. And you got Jerry taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number nine seed, Fritz, in the second round. So this section of the draw is pretty tricky. I mean, Fakina, Rublev, Fritz, RBA, all very capable of playing on clay. Jerry's been good on clay this year. Chekinado has been to the French Open semis before. This section's really interesting to see who who actually gets out of this section. All right, next section of the draw, we've got the number 14 seed, Hercatch. He'll take on either Hellas or Woof in the second round. Then we've got Nardi taking on Goffarm. Winner of that will take on the 19th seed, Zverev, in the second round. So Zverev, Hercatch, potentially third round. That is a massive third round matchup. Then you've got Morales, number 31 seed. He'll take on either Huzla or uh, Kubla in the second round. Then you've got Umber taking on Rusevori. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Medvedev, in the second round. Medvedev's got a tough draw. You know, both Umber and Rusevori are capable on clay. Um, uh, obviously, Morales has been good on clay as well. And then Hercatch or Zverev down the track. So very tough for Medvedev, of course, this section. We'll take on the Rublev section. So maybe Rublev versus Medvedev, but I'd be very shocked if that happened uh, because of the amount of names. It's probably the most stacked section of the draw. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got Sidzi Pass, number five seed. He'll take on either Lajevic or Borges in the second round. Uh, then you've got Sanego taking on Shardy. Winner of that will take on the 25th seed, Nishioka. Then you've got the 18th seed, Musetti. He'll take on either Alnaudi or Schwartzman in the second round.
round. Then you've got Zapiri taking on a qualifier. We know that will take on the number 12 C Tiafo in the second round. So this section's interesting. You know, Musetti up until last week was playing really well on clay. Uh, Sidzi Pass, we know what he's capable of, and he made the final here last year. Uh, but there's Lajevic, you know, Sonego in front of the home crowd. A lot of Italians in this section. Um, you know, and the Italians do get an extra bit of uh, drive from their crowd because we are in Rome. So that could be interesting. Schwartzman, another one who can play on clay. So this section's going to be a little tricky, I reckon, for Steph. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number 15 seed, Chorich. He'll take on either Manorino or Montero in the second round. Then you've got Dillian taking on Bayana. We know that match will take on the number 20 seed, Evans, in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Lehechka. He'll take on either Mute or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Ramos Vinolas taking on Pissarro. We know that will take on the number two seed, Elkrez, who's playing Rome for the very first time in his career. And look, Lehechka versus Elkrez. Great third round. Interesting third round. Uh, we did see Chorich and Evans take on Elkrez the last couple of tournaments with no success. So I think Elkrez is going to like his draw. And of course, this section takes on the City Pass section. So City Pass taking on Elkrez could be a quarterfinal, potentially, or maybe even Musetti if he gets out of that draw and takes on Elkrez. But I think Elkrez has a pretty clear road unless he has a stumble uh, along the way. But there it is, the men's draw. There's the men's draw for Rome. Uh, very different to what it looked like in Madrid. A lot more names playing, a lot of returning players. Obviously, Djokovic, uh, Sinner coming back, the two big ones there. And uh, I don't know. I mean, who do you think's going to win? We don't know how healthy Djokovic is. We don't know if Alcaraz can play on the slower courts yet. He's never played here before. Or is Tsitsipas going to do something in Rome? He has won a couple of Monte Carlos before, and he was in the final last year. But let me know in the comments below if you're watching this later. Or let me know in the, uh, in the chat who is winning in Rome on the ATP.